which is globalism. Um, because basically we think of globalization as say, you know, the last 100, 200 years, or even some people would realize it very strong from the discovery of America and the discovery of the East in the 15, 16 centuries. But in fact, of course, from the time of the Greeks and Alexander the Great and the contacts between Europe and Egypt and India um, and even China go back thousands of years along the Silk Roads and so on. So Europe has been having a uh, influx of radically different ideologies, social systems, uh, models of how you could run the world coming from the Middle East in its religion, but also further east from India and China for thousands of years. It's not been an isolated phenomenon. And these, there's been no resolution to the tension between these outside systems and internal systems. So the kind of globalization we face now, which I'll talk about, is a very old phenomenon where we have had to adjust to a radically different worldviews. And as I mentioned, Montaigne is a summary of this in the 16th century. And um, shall I just go on with that? Yeah, do. Although um, <clears throat> just a quick, the, the, the one civilization you haven't mentioned in that was, was the Islamic one. Is that an exception? Is that more, do you see that as more Western in that sense, uh, more more in tune because it does have a, a strong legal tradition, doesn't it? The, the, the it, Islamic. It, had a, it has a legal system. Uh, it is very strong, but it's not this kind of confrontational. Mm. Um, if you look at a, a trial in in Islamic, it's it's a local magistrate of some kind, uh, uh, an elder, um, uh, a priest who summons the um, people involved, either criminally or civilly, and then hears their arguments and then makes a decision. Now, they may argue with each other to a certain extent, but they are not represented by lawyers who are trained to put their arguments in a more contested form. So it doesn't have the kind of games playing element that you find in Western legal law. So it is... Um, halfway there but it's it's and that's the same with the uh, what i thought you were going to say which is the influence of islam as a yeah. alternative which is obviously very important and very strong but it's not a fully developed alternative because right. um islam is not uh it's a monotheistic uh, system which is derived from judaism and christianity and therefore it doesn't fundamentally it still believes in one God and so on and so on. Mm -hmm. So it's a variation on a theme, right. uh, unlike others. And what, what about the dis, just just to what about the distinction between the Roman and the and the English? The the, the, the distinction that Maitland makes when you, you talked about earlier is that how important is that for distinguishing, if you like, the Anglosphere from even uh, Scottish and European law? Oh well, uh, yes, I have talked about it, and it's, it's crucially important. Mm -hmm because Roman law is halfway towards Islamic law. That is to say, the judge is much more important. You don't have juries. You don't have um, the magistrate is also the policeman. So you don't have this court yeah. confrontation. It's not a game like cricket or football. It is a top down system, state system in which the judge represents the state. And then you have the individual coming before the judge. So it's much closer to, in some ways, the Islamic one and even to the Chinese system. So it's the Anglosphere, the English legal system, which deviates from Rome quite early, which gives you this fully modern confrontational system, which fits with my idea of separations of spheres because this this is what makes modernity possible because you have these clashes between the economic and the social and the religious and the political. And you need an arena where you take these clashes uh, and put them like a game, play them out, 
resolve them, and then they go back into their different boxes again. So if there's a confrontation between the, the, the crown and the citizen or between um, the church and the state, or it is resolved by this wonderful mechanism, complex mechanism of law. But um, those um, other systems, particularly Islam and so on, are other but not totally different. What was totally different is another terribly important stream, which is Manichaean mm. philosophy, 